What's up guys, this is Carter Thomas with Blue Cloud Solutions and today I wanna to talk to you about whether or not you should start by reskinning apps or if you should start by building apps from scratch. This, this gets, when people hear about reskinning apps, which for anybody, if you've never heard of this, this means taking a template and applying new graphics to it instead of trying to build something from the ground up, from, from zero, right? And reskinning was a term that was applied to this concept, this, this system, uh, a couple of years ago when this was something that people were, were doing on a massive scale. And now what a lot of people have realized is that doing this in itself is no longer really a business model. You can't expect to just take templates, put new graphics on and make money. That doesn't, that doesn't work the, like the way it used to be, which is fine. But it's still, it's still an appealing business model for other reasons. And so some people have been asking, hey, is this a good way just to get started, right? If, I'm gonna, if, I, didn't, if I just wanted to get into the app business, should I just try reskinning an app or should I really just go into uh, some of these new subscription models or try to do some stuff with Facebook ads? Like, what's the best way to get going? What business model should you get started with? And what I would tell you is that Definitely get started by reskinning a template. Going through the process of making an app is everything. Get, being able to get an app in the store published and not thinking about, well, how many downloads is it gonna get? How much money is it gonna make? What are my updates gonna look like? Just getting something in the store for the first time is huge. And if you can do that, that one thing, just get an app in the store, the chances of you succeeding and building a business and making real passive income go up exponentially. And so for most people out there, it's a lot harder to build something from scratch. It's a lot more expensive and it takes way longer to build something from scratch than to get a template, do some research on a, on a particular niche market or on a category, create some new graphics for that, and then publish that app. Or you don't even have to do it all, right? You can just hire a a developer or a team to do it for you, but just getting that app in the store and not worrying about the results, just getting it in so that you've gone through the process once, that is the name of the game in the app business, right? A lot of people think that you gotta knock it out of the park the first time, especially if you need to start making money fast, right? And what I can tell you is that while it can happen, the chances of it happening are pretty low, as they are in any business. And so the best thing you can do, if you wanna be in this business for more than a couple of weeks, if you wanna be around for six months and build something that actually grows, the more times you can put an app in the store and go through the process, the greater your chances are of that app getting, becoming a real winner uh, over the long term. So if you're thinking about getting into the app business, I would definitely recommend reskinning a template. We offer some templates at Blue Cloud. We have plenty that uh, come with our packages that you can get access to. They're very simple. Some of them are complicated, but it's all up to how you want to get started. You can do it yourself. You can hire a, comp uh, a developer for 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 500 bucks, depending on how much work and how much, how much quality you want to put into it. And then you can just get an app in the store. Now the key, like I said, you can't put expectations on the marketing or on the monetization. It's not going to pay your mortgage next month. I, I, wish, it could, I wish it would, but I gotta be realistic with you. It probably won't. That being said, it will put you in a position to start building new apps and creating new apps, using new templates, doing new market research in a way that will lead to results that you want. You will get more downloads. You will start making money if you start following the system, but you gotta have that experience of going through it once. So my whole thing is whatever it takes to get people to get one app in the store, do it, right? Like I don't care what, what you gotta do. Reskinning is the easiest, fastest, cheapest way to do it because once you get one app in the store, that's when things start to actually happen, right? It's kinda like if anyone knows anything about Facebook ads, once you get that first campaign done, then your second campaign, you're like, okay, well, I've done this before. I can do it more effectively. And then you can start thinking about testing. And you do that again. And then you're like, oh, maybe I can do video this time. And you go down the, you know, next thing you know, you're an expert in Facebook ads, but you gotta start with that first project. So definitely start with reskinning a template. 
use one of our templates or honestly go get a template for five bucks on some marketplace. I mean, I do it. I, I, I truly just want more people to put one app in the store so that when you do your next project and your project after that, they start to be successful. You can use our strategies, you can join our community, you can meet the people that will help you make that a reality, but you just gotta get that first one into the store. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, I would love to see some new people who are just taking this by the reins and getting stuff in the store so that they can just really start to, to crush it out. And that'd be, that'd be amazing. So if you like this video, please leave a like uh, or a review if you're listening to it. Share it with somebody that you think would benefit from this. And I will talk to you soon.